Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up? What's popping? Do my the guide. Uh, this is a review of Skimsami. I'm gonna be focusing on some free characters, mainly Mr. Como, Melita, and Mr. Como's wife. Also Paxton. So as you all know, Mr. Como had some kind of an affair with Milita and Paxton found out about it which I'm not surprised to be honest I think it was bound to happen they were just careless about the affair I mean it was bound to happen now this whole relationship like I said before it just came out, out of nowhere really it, there was no build up to the affair whatsoever. I just f feel like it was sprung on us for some weird reason. But I'm here for it, to be honest. I think it's the new kind of pace for Mr. Holm. So I think that when it comes to this relationship, I don't think it's going to go any further than it has because of Paxton finding out and now the wife has found out due to Mantuli because Mantuli heard it from her grandson about this whole restaurant um, reservation so now the whole community is starting to piece things together but I feel like Mr. Komi's wife is still in denial. She doesn't want to believe that her husband is capable of something like that. I understand why, because Charity actually tried to seduce Mr. Komi, but he rejected her. So I understand why... His wife still believes that he's capable of doing the same thing that he did before, but it's not that case. It's not the, it's not the same way it has before. So when it, when it comes to Malita, it's just a different story. He fell for it. He basically decided to cheat and go ahead with the affair I feel like it's gonna come as a shock to his wife because she has this belief that her, her husband is not capable of that when it comes to men I feel like you should never have your hopes up because you will get disappointed and I feel like in this case, she is going to become disappointed when she finds out that he did have an affair with Melita. He did go ahead and try to further this relationship by booking a hotel, by making a reservation at a restaurant. If it wasn't for Paxton being in the trunk, this relationship could have gone further than it has. Thank God that Paxton found out and stopped it in his tracks. Though it happened, she's going to find out. The wife is going to find out. But right now, she's still in denial. She does not want to believe that her husband is actually capable of doing something like that which I understand you know we have so much faith in our men sometimes that we come blind to the changes that they have created for themselves you know just like when John Mapudla started to have an, a relationship with Charity his wife didn't know at first, but I think she caught up. But in this case, when it comes to 
Mrs. Como, it's going to take a bit longer for her to realize that Mantulu was right. She even said that she says, I'm sorry that you don't believe me. I'm sorry that it came out the way it has. I just hope it does not end in tears because when you do find out that it's actually true, you're going to be heartbroken. That's a fact. That's a fact. She is going to be heartbroken when she finds out. Now, when it comes to Paxton, the way he dealt with this whole affair situation, I feel like he had so much ammunition that he could have used against his father. But to my surprise, I feel like he actually didn't use it. Well, he did use it to an extent, but I feel like he could have milked it a bit more, like ask for the most craziest thing that I know he's capable of asking for, like expensive clothes, expensive phone, whatever young boys want nowadays. So it was like a surprise to me when I found out that he really didn't use the ammunition that he has against his father to his advantage. Though he tried, I feel like he didn't go as far as he usually does, you know. Um, I also didn't like the way he dealt with Milita in terms of like, you know, graffitiing her place, you know, writing on the wall. That's childish. Everyone definitely didn't know it was you because you have a history of writing on the walls, graffiti on people's properties. So if the cops find out, you're going to be in trouble. Hopefully they don't find out because his dad actually paid Melita to get it cleaned out. <laughs> I don't know how this affair is going to end, but do I think that Mr. Okoma is going to continue with it? I don't think so. But there is a high possibility that my leader would want to go ahead with it until the end. I don't know how far she would like it to go. But I think in her head she still thinks that Mr. Okoma is still in love with her. But... That's not the case. I honestly don't think that's the case. We'll see how far it goes. Now, I would like to talk a bit about Lahasa and Kweji's relationship. After Preeti left the apartment and after they had this fallout, you know, he's now decided to focus on his relationship with Kwesi and being a great father to his son, which I applaud, which I appreciate him for. But I honestly feel like both Preeti and Lahasa did not deal with the situation the right way. The communication between these two has been lacking for the longest time. They have a habit of ignoring problems, not really facing the problems that they have within the relationship. So the only thing they do best is separate and ignore and pretend that they don't exist. And that's what has happened. Once again, they have separated. They haven't even talked about what is going on between these, between them. What's the problem and how to solve it. But what they do best is move on. Pretend like nothing is really happening. I mean, I do get why Lhasa is moving on. Because he has to take care of his son. And this weird relationship he has with Crazy. I also understand where Preach is coming from in terms of the hurt, the the feeling of being the third will or not being the priority of this whole relationship. I do understand that. But if that was the case, 
I feel like they should sit down and talk about it. Like, if I was in pretty shoes and I felt like I was not being the priority within the relationship, I would sit the house down and say, look, I know there's a huge problem when it comes to our relationship, which is crazy. She's pregnant. I understand that. And there's nothing I can con- do about that. I, I can't control that situation. I'm okay with that. But I want us to not lose focus when it comes to our relationship, our communication. I want to express how I feel with situations within this relationship and how we deal with them. Right now, I feel like we're just brushing everything under the carpet and pretending like they're not existing. So that's why I feel like we need to talk. I want to hear from you. I want to feel like you are putting me first. Though I understand that you you have a relationship with Kwasi, I also want to be involved in the decision making in situations that you basically affect me as well. That's what I would do or say to Lahasa if I was in pretty situation. But when it comes to Lahasa, I also would like him to tell me what the problem is and how we should deal with it. But within this case and how they're both dealing with it, they're being childish. This is why they're separating. Because they don't want to face the truth. They don't want to face what the problem is. They just want to ignore it and think, oh, it's going to just disappear. Let's pretend like it's not really happening. You know, yeah, whatever. She became childish by blocking him. He also became childish by feeling like he had to kiss Crazy. Why are you kissing crazy? If you truly love pretty, this is why I'm saying that dealing with it wrong. Because if Lahasa truly loved pretty, he would go the extra mile. He would literally go the extra mile, but he's not. He's not going the extra mile. He's basically surrender into the situation and say, look, if she's going to block me, whatever, I'm moving on. So I'm going to kiss the mother of my child and bye-bye. Pretty. Like, I don't get it. I don't get why they have to ignore the problems, why they have to act so childish when it comes to, to that relationship. Do I think they're going to go back to each other? There is a possibility, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. But when it comes to the husband being a father, I give him props because he actually does care about this child. But even though I feel like that child is not his, it's probably Corsi's. For some weird reason, I think it's Corsi's. I don't know why, but... That's the vibe I got from this whole relationship. But if if that's not the case, I would like to see the house really take care of the, the kid and be present in the moment and enjoy fatherhood because Pretty did say he's going to be a great father and I can see it happening for him right now. Anyway, let me know what you thought about these current episodes of Scream Semi, I honestly think that a lot has been happening when it comes to the characters that I've mentioned in this video. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Peace. I'm out.